Hello and welcome to this section of the Calculus Derivative Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to continue working with derivative of trig functions, derivatives of trig functions, working some extra problems. A little more complexity, not crazy though because once you understand the basics of the trigonometric functions, what their derivatives are, and if you have a good solid foundation in the quotient rule and the product rule, which was the purpose of the last couple of sections, um, then you're, you're not going to have a problem with this, but you do need to get practice, so that's what we're going to do. Let's go and say we have the following function. f of x is equal to x times the sine of x times the cosine of x. And we want to take its derivative. Now at first glance, if you saw this on a test and you never really tried a problem like this, you might say, whoa, challenge problem. Because, you know, you know, you know how to take the derivative of sine, you know how to take the derivative of cosine, you know how to take the derivative of this, but they're all multiplied together. And furthermore, when we talked about the product rule, you know, function a times function b, you know how to do that, but here there's three functions. So first you're thinking, this is outside the realm of anything I've been able to do. But here's, here's a piece of advice I want to give you. Any time in math, doesn't matter if it's calculus or, or anything, chemistry, physics, whatever, okay? If you know that what you're doing is legal, then do it because you know that it's legal. Have those, you need to know those rules like you, you know the traffic laws, right? You know not to run red lights. You need to know the rules of math. And if you know those, then even if you're not quite sure how, you know, a professor might do this problem, if you were doing something legal, it's okay. So let me show you something that you might not have guessed right away. If you rewrite this guy as follows, I think you might understand how to do it. x times the sine of x times the cosine of x. Exactly the same thing, right? But here, when I put parentheses, I'm kind of implying to you that this is sort of one function. This is sort of function number two. So this is function multiplied by function. Yes, now this guy is comprised of two things multiplied together. We'll deal with that later. But at a big picture, it's this guy multiplied by this guy. So we can apply the product rule to it as if it was written that way. You know, as an aside, I could have written the parentheses around these guys. I could say x times this guy, and this would be function a, and the, this thing would be function b. You would get the same answer. Um, you know that doing this parenthesis grouping is legal because you know that multiplication doesn't matter the order in which you do the multiplication. So let's, let's see what we get. So let's go and take this derivative using this. The derivative will be the first function, which is x times the sine of x times the derivative of the second function, cosine of x prime, right? Plus the second function, cosine of x times the derivative of the first function, x times the sine of x, like this. So the first function times the derivative of the second plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. Now, even if you don't do anything else on your test, your professor will give you some credit even for writing that down, even if you don't know what to do next. But let's just take it one step at a time. Here we'll have x times the sine of x what is the derivative of cosine? Now I've intentionally erased all of the trig guys that we've, uh, the trig derivatives, because you really do need to memorize them. But if you're having trouble, just remember that the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So let's write negative sine of x. That's this derivative. Okay, plus, and over here we're going to write cosine of x, and right now instead of taking the derivative, I'm going to rewrite it as 